Adam has decided to sleep on our couch another night and we're going to make him our model today. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name's Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. This is... I'm Adam Amalkaius, and you can find me on Twitter as well, slash Amalkaius. Nice job, man. Um, today, Adam's gonna be our model, and this is gonna be all week long we're talking about lighting, and uh, this is gonna be a really cool opportunity, guys, for you to learn uh, basically what we're doing here. And uh, we're in our new studio, which is really exciting. We just finished up a huge photo shoot. Actually, Amelia, can you scroll over it and show the walls that are right there, the, um, the bloody walls from our photo shoot? This was uh, reminiscences from our last photo shoot that we did here in the studio, and uh, it came out really awesome. So we're really excited about having the space, and it means we can bring you guys stuff like this today too. So um, all week we're talking about lighting, and today we're gonna be talking about um, different umbrellas that we're actually gonna be using when you're actually gonna be lighting someone. So um, I'm here, Adam's gonna be the model, and Amelia's behind the camera, she's gonna be taking some pictures. So um, let's just start off with just your, your very basic lights. Um, we're gonna start off with just using a seven inch reflector. So we're not gonna start off with any umbrellas. We're just gonna use a reflector. So these guys are just regular white lightnings. It's nothing, they're not incredibly fancy lights. And um, basically they're, they're strobe lights. So when you hit the button, it makes a flash. And the reason why using a flash is a pretty good idea for the most part is because it will, um, it, it allows a lot of light to happen in a short amount of time. And that means that it doesn't get really hot and things like that, and you can get uh, a lot of light to overpower the sun. So um, let's just start it off. We're gonna show you guys how light looks from a regular seven inch reflector. We're gonna put a silver reflector on, white reflector, and uh, go from there. So you're about to be blinded. Cool with that? Yeah, right on. Um, so for this reflector, we're actually gonna turn it towards our subject, and uh, you just wanna be sure that your subject can actually see into the light. So can you see that, Adam? Okay, and maybe I'll just bring it up a little bit. Is that cool? Yes, sir. Right now it's aimed right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, um, we're using a lot of grip, guys. We have light stands and extensions arm and all this kind of stuff. You don't need all this stuff. You can just use a regular light stand or you just have someone hold this. Um, it's just, now that we have a studio, we can actually have room for this sort of thing. So, um, because every time you put something in front of a light, like this is basically just a light with a reflector on it and Every time you put this modifier on or a different modifier, uh, it's gonna change the amount of light that comes out of the light. So it's a pretty good idea to use a light meter. Um, I use them, I like them, but this is just a, a regular light meter here. Well, we have episodes on that. We can link to those below. But basically, um, I'm just gonna hit this and close your eyes if you want. There we go. And uh, this tells you what your exposure is. So we're at ISO 200, 120, 100, over 1 25th of a second, and it's at F14. Right on. Um, so that's basically a seven inch reflector. Now, if you're wondering what it looks like without any kind of reflector on there, we can do this too. And um, when I take this reflector off, this is basically just, you know, it directs the light, but this is gonna change our exposure as well. So we're gonna meter again, and now we're at F11. So there's a lot less light hitting our subject because of that. You wanna take a picture with this too? And um, because of the less amount of light, you have to change your aperture on your camera. And so we're at F11, and it's gonna look a little bit different too. Is it gorgeous? You're a gorgeous man. My self-confidence is being boosted by the minute. <laughs> we should have a self-confidence. This is a light meter. We should have a self-confidence meter with yeah. that. Yeah. And when you reach a certain level, we can go out to the bar. Right on. I love it. Um, <laughs> so we, yeah. Flurn appropriate. No, it's totally flurn appropriate. We encourage <laughs> uh, debauchery here at Flurn. It's uh, what helps us get to be good photographers. Um, so. We have a regular reflector here. Now, when you guys are using umbrellas, you can use these with these types of light. You can also use umbrellas with speed lights. And the reason why we're starting off with umbrellas is because most people start off with umbrellas. They're really cheap and they're really easy to use. They're portable and everything like that. So um, for a long time, I used umbrellas and now I don't really use them. Do you use umbrellas that often? Uh, just when I need them to be really portable. Yeah, totally. The The quality of the light is better than bare light. You, you can make your light source bigger, but in my opinion, the quality light is really not as good as using a softbox or, you know, something really large or really controlled. So you can't put a grid on a on an umbrella and things like that. But if you guys are just looking for what the difference is between a couple different types of umbrellas, it's perfect. Um, so the next, we're going to show you just a white reflector here. So using a white umbrella, this is basically a, a shoot through. I got to stand over here. 
I'm kids just to the camera. Same spot, so. you're, you're beautiful, man. You're doing great. Um, this is a shoot through umbrella. Anytime you guys are using a white umbrella, it's going to be, you know, you place your light on the other side, you shoot through the umbrella, and it hits your subject. Um, the cool thing about this light is it's, um, you can get this really close to your subject, and it's, you don't have a flash here. It's directly the umbrella, so the light source will appear a little bit larger in your subject. Um, one of the negative parts about using a white umbrella is that some of the light's going to go through the umbrella and hit your subject, but some of the light's going to bounce outwards and, you know, go back into the room. So you're going to lose a little bit of your light because it's literally going the other way. And if you're in a small space and you don't want your light source to be like really broad and kind of just... You alright? Sorry, I had a yawn. <laughs> then I almost fell over. This is the most boring lighting tutorial ever. No, no, no. It's just, it was just a yawn. Alright. Um, so if you're using a white reflect, or sorry, if you're using a white umbrella, um, half of the light's going to be hitting your subject and the other half's going to be going the other way. And if you're in a small room, um, w sometimes it just like fills in all of its own shadows and you wind up getting a light that's kind of boring and really not that cool. But now that we have something in front of our reflector, we need to take another metering. And now we're at F9. So if you guys remember, we started off with F14, and that was with our regular reflector, the seven inch. Then we took everything off and it was at F11. And now with something in, it, in front of it, it's at F9. So we have even less power. And you know, that's basically because something's in front of our light right now. It makes sense. You want to take a picture, Ames? Is it gorge? Gorge. The gorgiosity is great with this one. What do you think? OK. So that's our white reflector. Next, we're going to move on to a silver reflector and... Question. Yes. Can I ask a question? Of course. How does the distance of the umbrella from the light make a difference with the light? That's a good question. Um, and what the distance you're talking about, let's go ahead and just, I'll show you that. Because I actually don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, well, perfect. This is a great opportunity to show you. And we'll do this in a way to where everyone can see it. Um, so the question Adam asked is the distance between the umbrella and the light. And if I understood you correctly, you're speaking about this distance here. Correct. That's a really good question. Okay, the, basically what you're gonna get is the apparent size of your light source. So um, your light source is really small here, right? It, it's gonna be like a direct beam. So you can actually, this is, um, I call it choke. Uh, I don't know, but you can, you can change the choke on your light. Um, you can do something like this. And your umbrella is still going to diffuse your light source, but it's just going to appear a lot smaller. So the light source will be, it'll look a little bit harder, in okay. other words. Um, a, a light source like this with a, with a light here and, you know, something like that, it'll be more the size of like a beauty dish. You're still going to get your hot spot right in the middle, so it's not exactly a beauty dish, but um, your light source is going to appear quite a bit smaller because it doesn't have time to spread out over the whole umbrella. And if you bring it out, you know, way far like this, then your light source, you know, your light's going all the way to the edges pretty much, and then, so your light source is gonna be that big. So, um, it's totally look, however you want it to look. If you want like really hard shadows, you would make a smaller light source. If you want softer shadows, softer light source. So again, it's totally up to you. It, it's one of those things where like, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just kind of like- Different effect. Kind totally, of totally. Word. All right, so we're done with the white umbrella now. Let's change it to silver. All right, so pretty much, in, in my opinion, the best thing about umbrellas is that they're cheap and they are really portable. So you can take these pretty much anywhere. They just fold up. I mean, they literally are like free don't, umbrellas. Just windy days. They're yeah. not worth it. <laughs> yeah, don't Unless, bother with umbrellas. Yeah. What do you do on a windy day instead of an umbrella? I watch TV. Right on. There we go. <laughs> Softboxes work weights, a little bit better. Yeah. Softboxes. Yeah. Softboxes and make sure you use... Um, uh, sandbags, which we have a few over there. Um, there we go. This is a silver umbrella, and the difference between this is you, you can't see through it, obviously. So you don't point this towards your subject. You actually point this away from your subject, and you don't lose as much light. So the light goes into the, into the umbrella, and then it pretty much all fires back the other way. So it fires back this way. In that case, it's going to be towards your subject. So you actually gain more light over using a white umbrella, and they say these look a little bit more punchy. So we're gonna try that and see what it looks like. So I'm trying to keep them all relatively in about the same place here, just because that's, that's kind of important, you know, the, the relative distance from the subject. How's that? Looks pretty. Is it about the same distance it was before? Um, I think so. Right on. Um, okay. So this light, and now we have to meter this again because it, it's going to be different. So you guys can see already it's pretty different. In other words, all right, F9. Perfect. 
So let's see this light compared to the white light. In, in my opinion, it's usually not that big of a difference of a light between a silver um, um, umbrella and a white umbrella, but we'll see. Meters up. Meters up. Meters up. Boom. So these are um, what I would consider basically your standard lights. All right, so we have a silver umbrella, we have a white umbrella, and um, they have bigger lighting accessories as well. Now, this is what we're gonna use t next is technically not an umbrella. They call it a parabolic reflector. Uh, this one is by Policy Buff. It really is just a really large umbrella, um, but it's supposed to be emulating the look. Would you mind holding that, sir? Emulating the look of a, a real parabolic reflector, something that's you know very large and expensive. But basically, this is just a very large umbrella. Stop using pocket wizards. Buy radio poppers. Sorry, just Do they endorse you? No, I was just totally, <laughs> just totally making that up. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna meter this guy. All right, we're at F13 now. So you can see that it does produce a little bit more light. It's a larger light source, and uh, it should wrap around at him a little bit better, and uh, it's gonna make you look more attractive. Oh, yes. Always a plus. All right, yeah, F13. Is it more attractive? I thought so. I try to open my eyes really wide. Oh. People can see into my soul. Oh, that's a trick there, too. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. That's all we wanted to cover today. And um, so, starting off with your light sources, my, my recommendation in using an umbrella is um, if you're gonna go with using umbrellas, uh, just white or silver, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, personally, what do you, do you have a preference? Umbrellas? Yeah. I love shoot through umbrellas for, with speed lights. Right on. I love that. So get the white umbrella because Adam told you to. Um, and these guys are actually, they're not that expensive. Uh, I think this is less than a hundred bucks for this giant reflector, which as far as lighting accessories go, that's not that expensive. And um, it does produce a really nice light. So. Um, if you are able to do something, you know, have the room for something a little bit larger, the parabolic reflectors are really cool. And I'll link to that below where you guys can get that too. So those are our different reflectors, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Again, my name's Aaron Nace. Find me on Twitter at AKNacer. I'm Adam Omakaias, twitter.com slash Omakaias. And uh, we'll learn you later. Thanks, guys. So these, uh, using regular, you know, white or silver, I can't talk today. I'm fucked up. Take 72. Boom.